guys. So I feel like all I've talked about recently, whether it's been in video form, on my blog, on Twitter, or in real life, has been the fact that my fiancé and I have moved in together. But the reason that I can't stop talking about it is because it's been the most overwhelming transition of my life. Um, so I figured I would just do a video about that, you know. Um, what's funny is this is actually the second video that I have just tried to do, and I, like, came home from a, a day out, like, running errands, going from bank to bank, to grocery to grocery, to here to there, um, and just kind of checking all the things off the list that it seems like my life has become as of late while we're just sh setting up shop and getting our, our house in order, literally and figuratively. Um... And I came home, and you know, normally if you come home to your own house, you're home. And you put your stuff down, and you do what you're going to do, sort of on the timeline you're going to do it. Um, and even in the past, when I've had roommates, and you know, I've had roommates my entire life, save I think, you know, two times. Um, you know, your roommates are doing their thing, and you're doing yours. And if they're in the living room, you're like, hey, and then you go do your own thing. Um, but when you are living together as... You know, millions and billions of people know, and I didn't know until a few weeks ago, um, that goes out the window, you know, so you have to come home, and if the other person is there, you can't be like, I'm busy, bye, or you can, but, you know, it's, you want to be polite, and how was your day, and listen, and not be like, Bleh, you know, this is what's going on, and Bleh, this is how stressed I am. Um, so I came home, and, you know, my fiancé wasn't here, so I was like, Okay, but I know he's coming home soon, so I want to finish this and do that and put this away and not have, you know, my shoes in the middle of the floor and not have the groceries strewn out and not have the keys and not look like a complete and utter slob. You know, I want to put things out neatly, um, but things just take time. And so what you think should take 15 seconds actually takes 10 minutes. And it's just like one of those things where like, meanwhile, I'm starving and I'm so hungry that I have a headache, but I'm like, I know he's going to come home and I want to get this video done before he comes home. So basically it's like 10 minutes of me running around like a chicken with my head cut off, not for his benefit, for my benefit, just because I want to get things in order. And then finally I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to do this video first because the only thing I want to get done that might not get done is the video. The keys will get put away, the shoes will get put away, the chicken will get put in the fridge, I'm going to eat. All that stuff is going to happen, but the past few days, the two things that consistently get put on the back burner are me doing videos and me writing my book. And that's the thing, is it's like prioritizing is really difficult when you have someone else's time schedule there. So anyhow, he came home right as I was like, screw it, forget everything, I'm going to run upstairs and make the video, and then right then he came home. Um, and that's not his fault, that's not my fault, that's just the reality of, like, time sharing. Um, and that's not even a big deal, I mean, that's a very minor example, but I, I think, like, you can see how agitated I am. It's also very hot, I put the AC on. Um, it's just overwhelming. And, like, you know, for, uh, I'm just sort of like, uh, like, right now. Um, like, my best friend and I had plans tonight, for example, and I think she was really disappointed that I had to cancel on her. I'm sorry, Dee, I love you. Um, and, you know, you're in, you're in one of two situations when you are stressed and overwhelmed. You can bitch and moan and bitch and moan and complain, 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 um, or you can just suck it up. Or you can end up doing sort of the third version, which is kind of what I end up doing, where like I let on and hint how stressed I am, but then I don't give people details. And so, you know, I think it's like the worst of both possible worlds. I, I don't know, because people are like annoyed that you're upset and stressed or that you're like ruining their schedule or that you're not there for them or whatever, but they don't have the details. So they can't sympathize with you. They can't empathize with you. And you're also not really getting it off your chest. So it's just like, nah. And I feel like that's the situation I've been in the past few weeks, which is why I am doing these videos. I mean, these videos are as much, you know, catharsis for me as anything else. And then also they're just the kind of massive, attempt that I always have to figure out like how to connect with my audience and what am I doing and what am I writing about and Jesus Christ there are nine billion beauty blogs and 
how many people can really ride that mascara, you know? So it's like at the end of the day, I feel like all I have to offer is me. My thoughts, my connection, you know, my sort of reaching through the screen and trying to talk to you. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's not always sunshine roses and bare essentials, you know, sometimes it's the life stuff. And right now I'm just kind of like really dealing with the life stuff. And I want a lifeline. Like, I want to know someone understands and gets it and empathizes. And so when people tell me, like, you know, babe, I've been there, it's so difficult moving in with someone that's really helpful because, uh, you know, like, I, I guess I didn't think it was going to be this hard. And, you know, we love each other so much and we have such a good relationship, but it's still someone in your space, you know? And so it's like, for him, I know it's really difficult because like he's moved into my space and so it's all, you know, my stuff and this and that. And then I'm not exactly the world's most laid back, easygoing person, if you can believe it. Um, and then, uh, for me, it's just tough because I'm not the world's most laid back, easygoing person. And I've spent 32 years doing things my own way and it's just fine. And so now just compromise and flexibility are really hard. And, you know, on top of that, we're planning the wedding. And so it's, uh, it's just, and you know, financial stresses and my job stresses and, you know, that's life. Everyone has stress. Um, and it's never going to get easier. And I guess that's what's stressful <laughs> is I, you know, it just felt like my life was easier and less complicated beforehand. And now I'm responsible for someone else and someone else respons is responsible for me. And then I'm just like, oh my God, if I am having this much difficulty not being selfish, not being a selfish jerk, um, with someone that I love and adore, um, how hard is it going to be when I have kids? Like, I, I don't know if I'm cut out to have kids. I don't know, you know? Uh, I love children. That's the thing. Like, I nannied in the past, and um, my little brother was 10 years younger than I am, and I'm aware of what a great burden kids are and what a great blessing kids are. But so it's not the kind of thing where I don't feel where like, oh, you hate children, but when they're yours, it's different. Um, I've, I've always loved children. I like being around them and I'm good with them. Um, I feel like because I know how difficult kids are going to be and then because I know how selfish I am, I'm just scared. So, but that's something to worry about for another time. Um, today marks T minus four months until we get married. Um, we have barely been planning the wedding. We're just trying to like get organized with moving in together, like merging bank accounts. And today one of my accounts went overdrawn because we merged stuff, but then something else came out. And it's just a lot of stuff like that. Like it, it has to happen. And I know that these are the growing pains. And I had lunch with someone today and she was like three months, it takes three months for all the growing pains. And then you kind of shake it out. Um, and that makes me really excited because in three months, we will then have one month to go until the wedding. So hopefully then I'll be able to enjoy actually being engaged. But for right now, I can't really enjoy being engaged because we're busy playing house. And so I hereby rescind everything I ever said about wait until you're engaged or <laughs> to move in together. Um, I can now understand why people do it in steps, and that's a very, like, modern concept that, you know, I just, I don't know, coming from a conservative family was always like, nope, gonna wait till I'm married. Um, and now I kind of get it. I understand it, because it would be nice to just worry <laughs> about merging our lives and dealing with our living together personalities without having all the added stress of planning the wedding and not really getting to enjoy it. Because I am really excited about our marriage. You know, the wedding, whatever. The wedding will be fun. It's a party. Who really cares? It'll be a nice day. But like, I am excited to, to be married with, you know, to be married. Um, and so right now I feel, I actually feel like we are already married. Um, but kind of in the not fun way, in the bills way and whatever. And so I'm looking forward to being married in the, like, sharing a last name and being partners and soulmates and, you know, which we already are, but all of that. So keeping my eyes on the prize, um, try not to be stressed and, uh, apologies if these are too many kind of personal videos as of late, but... 
Um, you know, I have a lot sort of going on in my head, so I'd rather talk to you guys about that than recommend random beauty products. Although I will continue to recommend random beauty products. Um, I'm going to put on this Chanel nail polish later. It's <laughs> Chanel in Azure, so if that makes you know, Nadine Jolie Beauty, more of a, of, of a uh, realistic channel. I don't know. Anyhow, um, that is all. Lots of love. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!